Hi students, this is Mr. David and today we're talking about the DSE speaking, our group interaction and the topic is about reading more because in France they have these machines that are vending short stories. So we call these short story vending machines. A vending machine is a machine where you push a button and then something comes out, usually a drink or a snack or you can even get ones that have um, like <laughs> You can get mobile phones, you can pretty much get anything these days, especially in Japan. Japan has many vending machines, and in France, these vending machines are creating stories for you to read. So the first student opens. This is a way to begin, okay? Hi, everyone, okay? And today we're talking about what, 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 okay? You don't need to talk too long. Well, today we're talking about reading literature. Today we're talking about vending machines. Just say it very clearly, two or three words, we're talking about what, okay? So the first student opens with the, this part, and then if you want to ask people here, would anyone like to start first, or anyone like to start first? You can, but the danger is that other advanced students will jump in the chance to speak, because a lot of high-level students want to speak first. So introduce, and then give your idea straight away if you have the confidence. Hi everyone, today we're talking about reading literature. I truly believe, and then again, actions here, look, I, you point to yourself, I truly believe less people are reading than before. Reading is more crucial, okay? Make your hands stronger, more crucial, okay? Read more, learn more, right? And then your voice goes up here, right? When you say right, you're basically saying, do you agree with me, right? Okay, am I right? Let me give you an example. Now, you can just say, for example, that's fine. But when you say it this way, it's much more confident. Compare, for example, and the student says, let me give you an example. But you need to say it in a very fast, smooth way. Don't say, let me give you an example. That's too slow. You need to say it faster. Let me give you an example, okay? Really, really fast. And again, it's more confident. It's not just, for example, it's, let me, okay? Let me give you an example. So let me give an example. Reading the newspaper instead of playing Candy Crush, I know more about the outside world. Consequently, this word here means so, so I have interesting discussions. Consequently, or as a result, I have interesting discussion with friends. And then here, agreed, and you look to the next person. Agreed means, do you agree with me? Okay, what's your idea? You just say, agreed, but you say it in a good way that goes up with eye contact. What do you think? And again, your hands. Agreed, you're leading people to the next person to speak next. The next student, okay, I absolutely now here the Obama pinch. You see, you've got my fingers here. Imagine you're holding a pen in your hand and then talk with a poet pen in your hand. I absolutely 100% agree with your idea that reading is crucial. Crucial means important. Let me tell you why. Here is another way to say because I agree reading is crucial because if we don't read. But instead of saying because, again, the more confident way, let me tell you why. If we don't read, how can we talk with friends about how to write better English? A good student can ask a question and then answer the question, okay? How? Okay, your hands here. How can we talk with friends? Your hands pointing up. How? Why? Where? Okay? Why do we want to write better English? We all want great results, right? Okay, look at each other, right? Do you agree? Why? Do we want to write better English? We all want great results, right? Again, let me give you an example faster. Let me give you an example. My cousin never, okay, here the word never, so hands up. My cousin never reads. And as a result, okay, this is so, so his vocabulary. As a result, his vocabulary is weak and his English skills are terrible. He wants to be a doctor. But how, okay, again, how can you study medicine if your English is poor. What's your point of view? Again, here, what? So get used to using your hands. What's your point of view? Next student. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. However, this turns it from idea A to idea B. Okay, that's an interesting idea. However, why are less people reading than before? I firmly believe, look here, don't just say I think, say I believe, or I firmly believe, or I truly believe, or I firmly believe without a doubt. Okay, this word here, doubt, the B is silent. Without a doubt, it rhymes, out, doubt. I firmly believe, without a doubt, 
the internet is the problem. Let me tell you why. Addiction to smartphones and social media. How, again, look, how do students relax after school? Do we read books? Of course not. We check Instagram. We upload photos of friends with rabbit ears and dog noses. When you say the rabbit ears, you can do the actions with your hands. Rabbit ears and dog noses, okay? Use body language. Teenager social skills are badly affected. So, vending machines, printing stories must, okay, here, must, must be a positive step in the right direction. Hmm, some fantastic ideas from everyone. Moving on. So look, this is a good way to, you don't need to say, let's move to the next point, okay? It's so boring when students say, hmm, let's move to the next point. Look, just be positive. Some fantastic ideas from everyone, or even you just say, hmm, good ideas. Moving on, okay, moving on is a way to say, let's move to the next point. Moving on, do we think these vending machines will encourage people to read more? So obviously I have a typing mistake here, I'll fix that later. But do we think these vending machines will encourage people to read more? Ask the question, ask and reply yourself. If you ask me, this is, this is my opinion, if you ask me, I don't think so. Let me tell you why, okay? They're a good idea, however, society, and here society basically means people, okay? People are more green, so say society, because society is people. Let me tell you why. They're a good idea, however, society is more green and environmentally friendly. As a result, so, as a result, we use less paper. Additionally, this is and, but in a nicer way. Additionally, and... People prefer to get information online. Consequently, so, look, this is and and so, okay? And people, da 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 da, da so society. There's so people, right? So people. Consequently, society is getting addicted to e-newspapers, audiobooks, and YouTube. I have a friend who constantly reads on her phone. She has two portable phone chargers. You know those things that you plug in to charge your phone? That's called a portable phone charger. And this word constantly, constantly is another way to say always, okay? That's an interesting idea. Next student. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. However, I think the environment issue can be solved if we recycle the paper after reading, right? Do you agree with me, right? I truly believe short story vending machines will help as not everyone is always constantly on their phones or iPads. If we have easy access to good stories, it can motivate, this is encourage, okay? Encourage, motivate our um, imagination and improve our vocabulary, right? Do you agree with me, right? Something is better than nothing, right? Here's a nice little phrase. Something is better than nothing, right? Next student. Hmm, that's a really good point. Something is better than nothing. So what this student here is doing, they are just repeating the main idea from the previous student and then they give their um, own personal opinion. So this connects st student A to student B. That's a good point. Something is better than nothing. And then the, your idea. Additionally, and it's free and it can encourage people to motivate, uh, it can encourage people to write more. So it can motivate people to write more. Can you imagine your own work printed and shared with hundreds of people? Wouldn't that be great? Do they really want someone to answer the question? No, you're asking your own question and you reply by yourself. So a good student can ask and reply. Can you imagine your own work printed and shared with hundreds of people? Wouldn't that be great? Let me give you an example. Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling was unknown. I've, again, there's a mistake here. Unknown before her first book. And now she has more money than the Queen. How amazing is that? Then the next student continues. You're absolutely right. That would be amazing. What other ways can we promote reading? Let me give you an example. Okay, don't just say for example. Let me give you an example. Read it, say it really fast. Let me look like that, right? Okay, let me give you an example. At school, we motivate, we encourage students to read more with incentives such as snacks, pens, and McDonald's coupons. An incentive is another way to say prize, okay, a prize. But don't just say prize, because that's basic English. Incentive, we encourage, we motivate, okay? 
Let me give you an example. Do you think that's a good idea? Do you agree with me? Next student. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. However, okay, I see what you are saying. I get your point. But, but is however. However, McDonald's coupons may lead to addiction to junk food, right? Okay, addiction to, addiction to social media, addiction to shopping, addiction to alcohol, addiction to smoking. Something you can't control, right? Addiction to junk food, right? Let me tell you why, okay? This is a because, okay? Because, da 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 da, da. Let me tell you why. My cousin was given McDonald's coupons from school, and now he has an obesity problem. Do I have a cousin? No, it's a fake example, but it sounds good. And he has an obesity problem, basically saying he's fat, but we say it nicely. He has an obesity problem. When I was at primary school, older students would read to younger students. So here, you can use body language. Older students would read to younger students. Look, big and small, like a big brother, big sister program. I thought that was a really great way to promote reading. What are your thoughts? So students, I hope that will help you. Watch the other video to learn more about eye contact and body language and how to say it in a more uh, quicker way. This is obviously the explanation video. Stay healthy, stay happy, and stay at home.